Hi, my name is Kendalee Zell, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a watercolor resist painting using glue. Um, as you can see here, I have a finished product, and I used glue to create my image, and then used watercolor paint to go over it. Um, at the top, you can see that I created different textures by filling in the um, between the glue lines, um, and you can see how the paint resisted the glue. Um, down here at the bottom you can see that instead of filling in the lines I went over them with um, the watercolor paint and it created more a more of a textured look um, than compared to the top did. Um, so I'm going to be showing you how to make um, one of these step by step and um, we will get started. Okay, so as you can see, I have already drawn out a pineapple to use as an example, and I have already put the glue down on top of my pencil marks, and we are going to be just using some watercolor paint to put down on top of the lines um, at the bottom, and then at the top where the leaves are, I'm going to be filling in the lines so that you can see how um, I, you can create the different textures within the painting. So we're just going to start with a yellow watercolor. And um, I'm going to go over the lines at the bottom um, so you that you can see the um, different textures that are being created. Um, and you're going to want to do this very lightly. The lighter you use the paint, the more you're going to be able to see the texture and see the definition between the different textures um, we are using. As you can see, I went ahead and filled in the rest of the pineapple with watercolor paint. And you're starting to be able to see some of the definition and the textures um, that the paint and the glue are creating. Um, so next I'm going to go ahead and use um, green watercolor to fill in the leaves at the top. Instead of going over the, the glue lines like I did at the bottom, I'm just going to fill in the lines this time. And that's going to create a um, different texture and it's going to be, the glue is going to be more defined than the bottom. And you're going to have the white around the edges so that you can see the definition. As you can see, the glue is resisting the paint and it is stopping it at the edge before it goes over the glue. So this is creating a, um, a different look than we had um, at the bottom of the pineapple. And your the white is really gonna it stands out from the rest of it, and it creates an outline from the rest of it, and that creates a um, different element to the painting than just painting over it. And the textures really make it a lot more interesting. And as you can see, I do have to switch brushes in the middle of doing the top portion. The first brush I was using. I realized after doing a couple of the leaves at the top that it was too thick and was not creating what I wanted it to, to create. And it's just a important to be aware of the tools that you're using when you're doing this kind of art and just know that you're going to have to make adjustments throughout the piece um, and that different tools might work different for different areas of the painting and you just need to be able to switch back and forth and know how to blend everything together and make it look like it is just one. As you can see, I went ahead and finished my pineapple. Um, at the top, you are starting to be able to see the paint separating from the glue. And as it dries, it will be more defined and become more textured and have a different look to it than it does right now because it's still a little wet. Um, but at the bottom, you can see now that it has dried some, um, the textures are starting to pop out and you're starting to be able to see the different types of textures we have in the bottom and you'll see that at the top soon. Thank you for watching.